What's up, guys? This is Jay to the P. <laughs> Big budget this week. Got a cameraman. Our woman. Mole wife. Mole lady. The one that tolerates these projects and we stand in the shop all the time. Anyway, I'm trying to get another video uploaded that I had made showing me with the bare bones modification to install the steering wheel but for some reason won't upload so it might be kind of funny this video will upload and then the other one will upload but uh, while I had the time I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the progress that I made on it um, to get to where you can see uh, you can see I finished the actual dash part um, and I put some aluminum trim in here and polished it out um, and then I also went ahead and mounted the steering wheel which I'll show you guys uh, the original plan is just to make a dash that it could be inserted just in case I wanted to change the controls and also to enable me to use a a better control than it had so I could play multiple games instead of just one old 80s game. So that just clamps in like that for right now. Uh, I'll actually be putting a brace under here so you can get really rough with it. And uh, if you look at the bezel, you'll notice I redid it. I tore out all the uh, old pole position graphics and put this piece of vinyl behind it and let it dry and then I cut out my section for my screen. Uh, I got me some new sticker paper, so I'm gonna be printing out some uh, graphics to put back on here, maybe the old school to match the side of the cab. Um, also, last night I scored me a nice speaker system from Wally World, and uh, I mounted them here. Uh, they also come with a subwoofer, and the subwoofer is actually in here. Uh, it's right there. Anyway, that's where the subwoofer mounts, and then I have a hole here uh, where I can access all my wires and stuff, which is where one of the old original speakers was. So there'll be a grill that goes back here. And then uh, also with these speakers, the volume control is on the actual speaker here itself, as well as the on and off. So uh, this actually turned out to be a pretty neat kit because I was worried that it wouldn't work and I'd have to take it all apart and stuff. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much what's been updated to this bad boy, which is a lot since the last video. Um, also, with the pedals, I was having an issue. Um, these pedals here are the ones that came with the kit, and the original pedals uh, sat back in this pocket here and they sat at an angle like this which wouldn't work with pedals like this so what I did was I removed the whole panel in there and I'll open the back so you can see you can take from the front okay back just open for a while but as you can see I opened the space up and what that enables me to do is put my pedals in here uh, and I could adjust them uh, to the person's tallness that's playing the game um, and this nice kit here also came with this little uh, anyway, these little grips that fold down it's a bunch of little spikes that grab into the carpet so the pedals won't move around um, but yeah, I just basically took the bracket out and took the old pedals out. And you'll see the blue tape is here. I uh, repainted the area where the board was removed black. Uh, and I'm waiting for it to get tacky enough for me to pull the tape off. Uh, as far as the floor, it was bare wood. So I just had some more of this outdoor carpet. So I just put me some adhesive down and cut me an appropriate size strip. So... I'm basically making this uh, video for this arcade because when I first got this arcade there's not many people that have modified it or restored them and I'm not necessarily restoring it because Two Coast Customs is customs. We don't do stuff normal. So, uh, yep, that's this.
Uh, now, quick update on the alien head. Uh, I'm still working on the armature, but I'm about done. What I did, the last time you saw this was a ball of foam. Well, I just started cutting and shaving the foam to get me a general alien head. And uh, I'm about happy with it. So I'm gonna put some something on here to seal it. I might do fiberglass resin. Maybe latex, but I'm, I'm leaning towards fiberglass resin to give me a hard surface. And then I'll wrap this in saran wrap and it'll be time to start putting clay on it. Uh, as far as how I got uh, my cuts in and round like that, it took a, uh, a hacksaw blade. This one's kind of dull because it's been in my shop for about three years. But uh, to get the curves, I, I cut down to the depth I wanted and then I bent this and sawed like this and got my curvature. So, and just tried to look at this side and this side and try to get them somewhat even. It's gonna be a hand sculpt, so it's not gonna be perfectly symmetrical, but you get the general idea. And so far, I probably have about $30 in this armature and basically the foam. Uh, so, anyway, that's the uh, latest update. Stay tuned.